Hey guys, welcome to Indian Creek Bow Hunting Journal. We're going to be reviewing for you today the Be Real Grip that's uh, used for Matthews Bows 2019 versions of the Matthews Bows and Beyond. I believe it fits, so, uh, so, so stay tuned for this review. Nothing new under the sun, one life to live seeking fun. But shallow is the self-lived life, for me, myself, oh, so much strife. But Jesus is the answer for a life perplexed and wanting more. It's never easy self to deny, but it's the only way to a life on high. Alright guys, here's my evolution as to how I got to this grip. Of course, when I bought the bow, I'm, I'm a PSE fan, a former PSE fanboy moving to a Matthews bow this year. <clears throat> and this bow has been very different than shooting than PSE bows. So it's taken me a while to get used to it. And I, of course, I bought it with the Engage grip on there. This grip goes on there. It's all It has some goo on there that you have to, you can basically peel this off. Uh, and then you have to rub off the goo that's on there to get uh, the Chris B, um, Be Real uh, grip on there. This grip goes on there very easy. You just slide it on and it it, uh, it stays on there uh, it, or it actually just holds on there. You want to make sure you get all of the glue off of there before you get it on there if you buy this grip. I want to give you my opinion of this grip and as always I don't get paid by anybody you're gonna get my rad neck opinion and that's what you're getting my opinion uh, free to disagree put it down there below if you disagree with uh, my opinion on this but I moved away from the engage grip I probably shot this for about three weeks and finally got irritated with it because I would always get flyers somewhere like I would shoot a pretty decent group out to 80 yards actually out to 70 yards my 80 yards group is still too wide but out to 70 yards, I'd shoot some pretty tight groups, even with this grip. But I'd get a, an arrow or two out of a group that would always be like way right, way left, way high or way low. And uh, mainly right and left because this grip is so narrow that it, I would tend to torque with it. And it's more rounded, it feels like, when it's on there. So it gives it kind of a, a round feel. And nothing I could really do to get my grip to push into the grip better or whatever would uh, get my arrows uh, any tighter always have a flyer it seemed seemed like uh, on somewhere so i was watching uh, chris b on youtube hit some of his videos his grip i thought i'll give that a try so i ordered it from lancaster uh, archery and started shooting this i've been shooting this grip now for almost two weeks and uh i still get a flyer on occasion but i found it to be a, a much stabler or more consistent ability to shoot off of this uh grip here and this grip, if you'll notice, there's a certain angle to this. I don't know what this angle is, but on the bow itself, the Matthews bow itself, the V3 is what I'm using. It, uh, this angle is a pretty good angle. I like the angle with the grip that I was using before. This grip here, when you put it on, actually puts it at a steeper angle. And so as far as shooting goes, uh, just my quick evaluation, as far as shooting goes, this grip uh, is better than the engage grip for sure because it gives you a, a flatter surface on which to stick your hand and shoot. I don't necessarily like the deeper angle because it pushes my hand up into the grip further because and it, it tends to after about 30 shots or so I'm shooting 65 pounds after 30 shots or so this part of my hand starts getting a little sore I got older hands so that could be a problem uh, with it as well but it, it angles your hand or pushes your hand forward further uh, and so I've tended to try to push my hand into the grip a little more, and that's helped a little bit. Uh, so accuracy, I, I, you know, I'd give it a good, a, a, a good score on that because it does help you with this flat surface. Comfortability, uh, it is a hard plastic. I don't know if you can hear it, but um, it's hard plastic as opposed to like rubber. And that's probably the difference between the two as far as this is probably gripping my hand too much and I'm torquing too much. This is flat, hard plastic, and so it, it doesn't it it I don't it doesn't torque near as much as this one or causes me to torque as much as this one does. 
uh, but it makes it, the hard plastic tends to make it pretty uncomfortable. And so like I said, after about 30 shots, my hand is like, I can feel my hand, which affects your accuracy, of course, when you, when you get that many shots through it. The last thing uh, I would share about this grip is that uh, by way of cost, honestly, it's just a piece of plastic. Uh, molded plastic, probably infused or, or pressed in some way. But honestly, this thing is way overpriced. It's uh, I think I paid seventy-five dollars for this, and uh, you could, they probably make this thing for a couple of bucks or three bucks or four bucks or whatever, wherever they make it, and uh, which is probably all it costs. You, you could actually make this thing with a uh, uh, one of those three uh, uh, D printers, probably. And I'm telling you, there's probably at most five dollars worth of material in this thing and maybe five dollars or ten dollars worth of production and they're selling this thing for uh, 75 dollars it's way too much money so uh basically what i've done is i stopped shooting with this i took this off the bow and i just started shooting like my pse bows with bare bow nothing on it i don't even want to pay for the side plates which are like 50 bucks for the side plates but i started shooting it like this with nothing on it it looks terrible but I don't care about what it looks like. I want functionality. I actually started shooting a little better. I was shooting uh, some of the video I have there is, uh, at uh, 40 yards and 20 yards. And it, it shoots similar. I can shoot very similar with this grip uh, on it. But as far as comfortableness, I can shoot 50, 60 arrows through this and my hand's still comfortable. But this one is a little bit uncomfortable for me once I hit about 30 arrows. And for the cost, it's just not worth it to me. So um, my radnick opinion, sorry Chris, but my radnick opinion is it's just not worth the $75. Maybe it is for you if, you, if you're, I mean, I can't argue with Chris's shooting. He's a great shooter. <laughs> uh, much better than I am, that's for sure. But just my radnick two cents, um, to me, this uh, is, just would not be worth $75. So thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like my review here. Um, and uh, be sure to check out my other hunting videos as well. Uh, appreciate you watching. Thank you.